When I arrived here, we were just a handful of people studying primarily meteorology. Now we've become one of the largest, most vibrant, most diverse organizations studying climate and atmosphere in the world. We try to be very broad. We cover climate, we cover weather, and we cover atmospheric composition. People know about ICAS and, and they know about the University of Leeds. We have some really big players here. Over 30 academic staff, 60 PhD students, 50 postdoctoral researchers. We try to maintain expertise in computer modeling, expertise in laboratory research, and also in field research. The whole school is really unique. I can work with people from different disciplines. We've got lots of people who are in several departments at once and their projects come out much broader and with insight from different fields. People are working very nicely across all these different areas and coming up with imaginative proposals for, for new research. Going beyond academia, we need to have partnerships with external organisations so that our research gets beyond just writing academic papers. The Met Office, I think they've got a, a superb relationship with the School of Earth and Environment generally, but ICAS in particular. We have Met Office staff here. Many students are co-supervised by the Met Office and by academics here. And that's a way that we carry our research through to an organisation that's going to enable us to make a difference. It's nice that the exchange of information is definitely going in both directions. We have uh, fantastic relationships with the National Centre for Atmospheric Science. They're actually in this building. The directorate is here. We, we share researchers and staff and it is, it's very fruitful. There's lots of support for ICAS as an institution and as ICAS grows and becomes more diverse and more interconnected that's only going to expand. We're doing fundamental research. Our aim is to make new discoveries about the atmosphere and climate. We have a very large range of projects going on at any one time from both National Research Council, the National Environment Research Council, and from the EU. There's a lot of support in place that really enables me to react to research situations. So to give you one example, we have this eruption at Holochön in Iceland, and I was able within three days to get model simulations running to look at the spread and dispersion of the gases and the aerosol. And it really goes to show all the investment we made in the past in terms of technical support, developing these models, um, getting the knowledge and research expertise. So the radar's a new acquisition. We've only had it for a couple of years and the COPE project was its first major field campaign last year. COPE is the convective precipitation experiment. It's trying to improve forecasts of flash flooding. It was a very successful project which will provide us some really exciting data to analyse. Basically I do hazard assessments for volcanic eruptions and my main speciality is on Icelandic volcanic eruptions. Volcanic eruptions in Iceland were on the radar of policy makers and decision makers because it had such a big impact on the economy. So basically I advise them in terms of the science they are doing and we also receive funding to provide further evidence um, to really categorize this risk and the data we produce here in ICAS are basically used to provide the scientific evidence for policy makers. So people will will come to the ICAS to, to, to get the latest information. So we like to take research that we do here, translate it into an impact on society. When people get here, they seem to want to stay. I really enjoy Leeds. I've been here for 11 years now. I think that says something about both the institute, the school, the, the university, and also the, the city. Yeah, it's an exciting place to be. There's, there's lots going on. Great nightlife and all this. And if you want to go for a hike, you just drive half an hour and there you are, or one and a half hours to go to the coast. After the interviews, I really fell in love with the place and the people here. So it felt like a place where I would enjoy spending such a long time. This is a great university in a, in a great part of the UK. Young staff set up here, you know, right out of their first postdoctoral position and go on to become, you know, world-leading academics. We are happy to take risks in the studies we are doing, it's our duty to try to ask the right questions and then tackle these research questions that are relevant for society. People are doing this research, doing it because they want to improve weather forecasts and ultimately improve people's lives. You breed a new sort of scientists. You can't box them. And this is really beautiful, I think. I think this is really the future of, of research. Yes.